Hi all, welcome to week three of our online version of our course. We are finishing Verdery this week and we're talking about the breakup of Yugoslavia in particular. There's a lot of history here and it's a very complicated history. I don't even think I could explain it to you if I tried. So what I've done is at the very beginning of your PowerPoint, I have linked um, part one of a six part BBC film um, that should be the first place you go, quite frankly. It'll, again, the fact that it's a six part film shows you how complicated the situation is, but at least this first part will set up for you why things happen the way they did. I've then also linked a number of articles about Slobodan Milosevic, um, the siege of Sarajevo, the massacre of Srebrenica, just to give you some context of what came out of this conflict, because um, I assume most of you probably don't know much about it, don't remember it. Um, it. It's a very long period with really horrifying ethnic cleansing and lots of mass graves. My students who are in forensics as well, we've already been in this part of the world and we will be back there again because of the mass grave situation. This is where the ICTY was operating, if you remember that. Uh, this is heavy, depressing stuff. Um, but it's illustrative, right? We can learn from history. So give yourself some time with that historical context material, maybe even before you read the chapter or at least, you know, in tandem with the chapter. In your PowerPoint, which I'm actually working on right now, what I'm going to do is sort of what I did in the last unit, what I ended up doing unintentionally, which is go section by section give you some of the key quotes, summarize some of the main points that connect it all together for me, for our class. I hope this works for you. I, you know, I'm making this up as we go along. So this is just sort of how it's flowing as I'm putting it together. And I hope it's offering you some guide. Again, since I'm going section by section, if you struggle with this book, maybe read it with the PowerPoint open. And you know, as you read, you can tag back and forth between the things that I'm highlighting and what you're highlighting. You don't have to do it that way. You can go to the PowerPoint after um, just for a summary of some of the key ideas, which is what I've been recommending. But that's another option for you. Um, okay, hopefully you're doing all right with Verdery. This is again, our last day with her. I love how in the discussion boards you are tying together Verdery with so many of the other things we've read, ideas about liminality and agency and, and all of the other pieces that you can connect it to. Um, there's a reason I structured the class the way that I did. I build us up to this moment. And that's why it's been really sort of disappointing for me not to be there with you. Uh, but I'm recording this on what is actually Monday of your second week. And uh, by the time you see this, who knows where we'll be, but as of the Monday of this second week, March 23rd or whatever it is when I'm making this film, the situation is really bad here with the COVID-19, the coronavirus. So I think we're doing the best thing possible by trying to continue our classes in this virtual format where we can all maintain a safe distance and hopefully stay healthy. So good luck with this. Again, reach out if you have any questions or concerns. Um, let me know how I can help you. I know it's hard doing this right now, um, but hopefully it's a good distraction and hopefully you're still getting some really interesting ideas from it. All right. Thanks so much guys from my living room saying goodbye.